So this is going to be a quick redrum uh, tips and tricks video. Um, going to just basically show a way that I um, like to sequence with the redrum. So I'll do my pattern in the redrum sequencer. I did a super simple pattern just for this example. Um, I'm going to go ahead copy pattern to track. That's going to bring it in here. Um, before I do anything else, I'm going to uncheck pattern and uh, enable pattern selection. That's going to mean it's going to stop playing in this sequencer when I hit play and just be playing in the sequencer when the notes hit. So it won't play when the sequencer is not there and then when it is there. Um, so yeah, there we have it there. Um, so once I, once I have it to the track, um, I'm all happy with that. Um, then I go ahead uh, go to window, uh, show tool window, or F8, and then you want to go to extract notes to lane, explode, move, and then I explode each one um, to the individual tracks. Uh, this I mainly use because um, I want just the kick to be at the intro, or I want just the um, hats and snare to be at the intro and the kick to come in later for the drop or whatever. Um, and so, so this just makes it more like um, drum tracking where you have each each mic um, in this sense it's just samples but um, it comes from the sort of classic drum sequencing. So there you go, quick tip.